Well, it's Monday morning, and I'm back on this thing again. My neighbor said to go ahead and buy another carburetor. But I'm not exactly sure that's the problem. When it's been sitting a long time and it's cold, and I start it up, it's, it's not running right. It's puffing out some black smoke. I'll remove the air filter, cup my hand over the intake, and then when I get the air mixture right, it will run perfect. I can remove my hand. It's fine. I can throttle it up and down, turn it off, turn it back on, start it up, you know, and, and it's fine. So, something else, I, I don't know. But so far, I've noticed it just when it's when it's cold, it will do that. I had it started already. Let's uh, let's start it. I just don't get it. One more time. I should have started it up first thing with the video camera on. I'm going to leave it set for several, several, several hours. And then uh, give it a start. And if it does what it does, you'll see. I I have exhausted uh, my ideas on this of what could be wrong. I've talked with Duke, and I cannot figure this thing out. I haven't done anything new except I put on a new uh, solenoid, but. There was nothing wrong with the other one. It worked. But I figured for less than $10, I might as well. Because uh, several people, not just on YouTube, suggested snapping off that plunger inside there and see what happens. I did. So I had to buy it. It's That's not the problem. Just to recap, when I start this thing and it's cold... It blows out some black smoke and it will not run smoothly and up to RPMs. When I cup my hand over the intake here and allow a certain amount of oxygen to go in there, it will pick up and start to run right and when it does, I can let go of that and it will stay running. And as long as the engine has been warmed up and it's hot, I can shut it off and restart it and it will it'll run properly every time. But as soon as I let it cool down and I go to start it, it does the same thing as it's always done. And I've not had it started for a few hours, so I'm going to start it and show you what it's doing again. I probably should. Oops. Okay, here we go. Okay, so it made a liar out of me. <laughs> Would you know it? 
Um, little iffy, but once it started, you know, running, it, it smoothed out. Hmm. Let's try it again and see what happens. so you wouldn't know anything was wrong. Whenever I go to make one of these videos, it just, it does that. But, trust me, it, later on, I'll, I'll wait three or four more hours, and I'll start it up again and see what happens. And I'll add it to this video. Okay. Uh, I have shared with you folks before that whenever I'm working here in the garage and I'm stumped, I pray and ask God to help me find the problems. I'm not a mechanic of any kind. I like to work on stuff, and sometimes out of necessity, I can't afford to have someone else do it. And therefore, I have to do it. And sometimes someone will ask me to fix something for them, and I don't have a clue. Nothing. I've never done it before. And I'll go to the Lord and, and ask for his help. Ask him to give me wisdom on the, the matter. An hour ago, maybe, I was sitting out in the, the kids' woods with Ronnie. And I was talking to him about this. I said, I can't figure out what's wrong. Sometimes it, when it starts, it's fine. Sometimes it's not. And I sat there and I said, well, someone might say, well, there's something wrong with your choke. And then I had a reason as to why it wouldn't be that. So as I was sitting here, I started it and it was fine. Run great. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to put it in choke and pull it back out. And when I did, it continued to run rough. So I looked down there and the choke, I can't, I can't bend over that far, but it's, it's right in there. Hang on. Right down here on the floor. This is getting stuck. It's not springing back. So, uh, I'm wondering if something's missing somewhere. There's a spring on there. All right. <clears throat> Here's the choke position, right where it's at. So when I move this back, that should uh, spring back forward and, and it's not doing that. I guess I'm wondering, I, w I was gonna say I'm wondering if something's supposed to pull that back, but I, I think that that spring in there is supposed to do that. Well, at long last, I think the problem is solved. The hole that this plastic stem goes through, um, nothing changed with the hole, but I think the plastic probably expanded and was very tight, and it wouldn't spring back. And now it springs back because I, I found out the size of the hole which was a size A. And I went to the next size bigger, which is 1564, which is one thousandth bigger. And I ran the drill backwards and made the hole a little bigger. Um, and now it springs back. And this has the... Uh, choke plate that just slides in there and st st 
days. So, with it choked. I think that's it, right there. Choke. All right, she's working. Let's put her back together and start it up. Well, I was gonna start it and end the video with that, but everybody knows what a lawnmower sounds like. And uh, it's sitting over there now. And so far, so good. I could park in my garage. I just have to move that out of the way. All right, well, we'll see you.